Hey guys, Satan. Today we are making buffalo cauliflower bites with a garlic aioli. We're gonna take cauliflower, take it to the next level, deep fry it like chicken wings, coat it in a delicious buffalo sauce. My mouth is watering just talking about it. Let's get cooking. To make this cauliflower, we are doing a three breading station method. Over here I have some flour. I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of cayenne, which just wanna get out of there. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's just mix this together with our finger. We're also gonna add in some freshly cracked pepper into there. I'm also gonna add in some salt. We are not gonna add that much flavor into here because the buffalo sauce gives a lot of flavor on its own. Now, you wanna have a wet hand and a dry hand. We are first going to take the dry hand over here, take a piece of our cauliflower, place it into the flour, then we're going to dust it off, place it into our milk. You can use any milk, you can use almond milk, you can use cow's milk, whatever type of milk floats your boat you can use. Now add it back into the dry over here, coat like that, that looks perfect. Now back into the wet, there we go. And finally, into our breadcrumbs. I like to use a combination of panko and regular breadcrumbs, so you have both consistencies, but you can just use one if that's all you have in the house. Because we're quarantine cooking, doesn't need to be perfect. And you may notice, the quality of this video is different than the normal quality of my YouTube videos, because unfortunately I don't have my favorite camera guy, or really my only camera guy, the only one that I'm willing to shoot with, other than my dad, which is my main man, Adrian, you guys know. Um, because of quarantine, he cannot be here to film, but he is editing this video. So, hi, Adrian, while you're editing. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna repeat that with the rest of our cauliflower, and then it's time to fry. Into the flour, into the milk, back into the flour, back into the milk, and finally into the panko breadcrumbs. The cauliflower is coated, it is now time to fry. Over here I have some oil that is preheated to 325 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're now gonna fry them for about three to four minutes until they're golden brown on the outside and nice and cooked on the inside. And let's ignore how dirty this pan is because we gotta use up the oil for at least a few days so it lasts a while because we can't go to the store that much. While those are frying up, let's quickly make our buffalo sauce. Right here we have some buffalo sauce, which is kind of like hot sauce, but a little bit more flavorful. Highly suggest buying it. And I like to add in a touch of honey to my buffalo sauce, which is literally gonna take absolutely forever to add in. The honey compensates for how fast I talk with how slow it moves. All right, it is now time to take our cauliflower out of the oil. As you can see, it is nice and golden brown on the outside, and it is also perfectly soft and cooked. On the inside, oh my god, I literally cannot wait to dig in. And now repeat with the rest of the cauliflower. The time we've been all waiting for, it is now time to coat our cauliflower in the buffalo sauce. Now what I'm gonna do is, since my dad and brother don't actually like the buffalo sauce, I'm only gonna coat some of them for me so that they can eat some of these, uh, because even though I wish I could, I definitely should not eat all of these. Let's now take our buffalo sauce and toss it up in the air. Oh, I just spilled. At least I didn't get on myself. All right, keep on tossing it without making a mess, or I guess making a mess. All right, I might have made a mess, but let's start plating it up. I like to use this rustic old pie dish to serve them because I think the contrast of the beautiful red color with the metal looks really nice. Now, traditionally, I will serve this with a beautiful garlic aioli, which you see in the close-up shots that are right now on the screen. However, uh, we don't have any garlic and, no, we don't have any have garlic. We don't have any mayo, so we can't go to the store just for one YouTube video. So it does look as fabulous right now, but it does taste as fabulous. So let's now grab a fork, bam. Best part of having a set like this. There's forks everywhere. And let's now give it a try. Look at this. Look at that steamy deliciousness. We got that nice close-up shot. Let's dig in. Okay, that was not graceful, but delicious. Wow, that's packed with flavor. My mouth is literally breathing fire right now. Buffalo sauce is super spicy, super delicious. The cauliflower on the inside is perfectly soft and cooked to the ultimate texture on the inside. I'm gonna go out there and just say, I think cauliflower wings are better than chicken wings. Don't hate me for that, but I think they are. The outside is super crunchy from the panko breadcrumbs. It is so flavorful from the buffalo sauce. They are the perfect snack, meal, whatever you want to call it. I suggest making them as a party for yourself since we can't have real parties right now. All right, if you need me, I'm going to be eating the rest of these. As always, if you want the recipe for the cauliflower, and the garlic aioli that's supposed to go with it, which I didn't actually make in this video. Those are on atomonet.com, linked down below. All right, if you need me, I'm gonna devour the rest of these and I'll think about giving my brother and dad the rest because I might eat that for myself. All right, bye.